Okay, we ready? I think we're ready. Oh, all right. Welcome back, everybody. Social Misfits Podcast. How y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> I'll never do that ever again. We know he's lying. We know he's lying. <laughs> no, I promise. Scout's on her. I swear. I'll never do it again. Mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. never say that again. I'll see him tomorrow. I'll be like, you love. <laughs> It's not true. It's not, it's, it's, that that won't, it's not a thing. It's not a, don't listen to him. It's not a thing. Uh-huh. Oh my God. So what's up, man? It's the long weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. What'd you get up to? Uh, Anything shit. yet? Uh, yo, we had a crazy ass um, get together at my brother's house. Um, we cooked some pretty fucking good ass meat, some yeah. chicken, oh, some yeah. lamb shanks. Mm-hmm. Chicken was done on this like really old school style, like... I don't know what the fuck kind of barbecue this thing is. This is some next level barbecue. It cooks over a fire, basically. Is that the one? Oh, that's yeah. the one your brother yeah. just finished yeah. building. Yeah. yeah. Santa Maria Grill. Bro, that chicken yeah. was smoky. Yeah. Yo, Thanksgiving's good, man. It's a good time. How about you? Oh, yeah. Last night I got together with the family. It was great. We had lots of food, more food than you know people could put back as always, which is a great thing. Always a good um, thing. And just some really good quality time with the family. So I was really happy that I got to experience that this weekend. Yeah. Um, hope you all get to do the same. Yeah, for real, man. Um, enjoy this time. Yeah, that we get to have those moments for sure. Hell yeah, man. And you know, along with Thanksgiving, you know what comes along with Thanksgiving. Hey, it's the fall season. Fall season. Yeah, the colors change. Brr. Gets a little colder. Brr. But, you know. I did, I did brr in like two different ways. Oh, yeah? I did it like in the gangst, like the gangster, like the shooting way so we're adding ad libs now no no and then i did it in the brr, like yo i'm cold type brr, you know it's a double entendre bro double entendre okay <laughs> all right but oh yeah, man fall season man it, it does get cold it gets really cold for me personally i work outside and i felt like it went from hot weather to cold weather like this and, yeah and and I was working outside without a shirt on for the longest time, and now I'm putting on my sweater, and I got a jacket over top of that. I'm getting as ready as possible. No more short shorts is what he's trying to say. No, short shorts have to go away, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. They have mm-hmm. to go away. I'm sad about it, but you know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, damn, like, yo, fall, like, everybody kind of gets a little bit depressed around fall. Like, I, it doesn't hit them yet. You know, some people think they're happy about fall coming in, but with that the cold weather starts coming in you start kind of noticing people's like demeanor start just changing a little bit people's energy is lower like i thrive in fall man like i i love like i'm i'm getting ready like i like winter yeah i'm a fan of winter yeah so the ushering in of the cold is like whatever just slap on a sweater get all bundled up i'm good oh man no not for me see when i was younger i really loved the cold you know, people would ask me, what, what do you prefer? I was like, oh, man, if it gets too cold, I'll just fall asleep. And if it gets too hot, I can't take enough clothes off to be cool. But as I'm growing older, I'm realizing. I still say that. No, no. I, I, still, I, I still say that stuff. I can't deal I with the cold the same anymore. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah. I, I really like my hot weather. Old man over here. Yeah. You're becoming old, bro. Yeah. Old people don't like the cold anymore. No, but I don't mind fall, actually. Fall happens to be my favorite time of the year. I love when all the colors on all the trees change. It's a little bit uh, a little bit cooler, sure, but that that hoodie weather, I love the swag of the sweatpants and the hoodies and things like that. So for me, the toques, you know. Yeah. So for me, fall weather is definitely my type of. So thing. what you're trying to say is you like to accessorize. Hell yeah. You're an accessorizer. Who doesn't like to accessorize? Um, I don't know. A lot Look of... at you with your bling on and shit. Yeah, he's right. Shit. Come on now. Shit, I Come love accessorizing, Come man. Come on now. Damn. Come on now. But that's why I like winter the best, bro. Like winter is like perfect time to start accessorizing. Like speak about fall. Like that's fall, true. all the nice gear starts coming out, man. You know, you got those like puffy vests on, like with the sweater underneath. Yep. You got a toque on. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, it's, it's cool, man. Like the added clothes, I really like. Yeah, I know. And, and for me too, there's a certain nostalgia that comes around with fall. I remember being a kid and. And making these massive leaf forts with my dad and, oh, and they had tunnels and things like that yeah. that led to other little spots and Yo, man what kind a, of leaves were you guys raking that you were able to construct tunnels underneath my dad was like the macgyver of his time okay he was able to make shelters out of you you put twigs together and things <laughs> like let me tell you okay we had top notch leaf forts That's and, nuts. and they just slowly transitioned into igloos as winter came around because i was gonna say like an igloo makes sense that you would like be able to create tunnels out of an igloo but 
for this guy creating tunnels out of a pile of leaves there was more the amount of the engineering that has to go into that there was more to it than that it's deeper than that it's, a, it's on a deeper level it's, it's deeper some meta that. stuff it's deeper than yeah, that. yeah yeah <laughs> but okay so memories like that and then come on like fall time who doesn't enjoy sitting around a campfire yeah if you have if you know where you can go sit around a campfire in some other people's cases it's simply just lighting a fire with some lighter fluid in a freaking bucket outside on their balcony hey whatever you gotta do roast whatever some of those marshmallows with that that, warmth. that that like butane taste in your mouth you get it mm, mm. <laughs> your shit's nasty yeah, bro okay that's a different kind of fire, okay you but... could tell that i've had moments where i have not had access to a fire you have to improvise you mm. got to create some so yeah. yeah you get these little extra flavors coming through these fires that you mm -hmm. create yeah yeah they're not the best we can tell who was a pyro growing up we can tell we can it's tell true. where did that roll of toilet paper go oh where did my lighter go <gasps> where's richard even though i'm canadian i plead the fifth <laughs> it's acceptable right now it's fine oh man it's completely fine yo shit it's crazy another really wicked thing about uh fall in general is uh halloween there's a, a moment a lot of people look forward to oh yeah many memories about halloween ah I, i'm still building memories about halloween i love halloween man as soon as like october 1st hits bro i'm like right in the spirit absolutely of halloween man absolutely but yeah. things have changed for me personally like at one time i was looking forward as a child to run around with my pillowcase and try and get as much candy as possible yeah um, bring Naturally. it home sort through it all that sort of thing and now my perspective has grown a little bit in the sense that I'm looking forward to the day where I'm able to have that opportunity with my child um, or whenever that day may come. But uh, that was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the truth. Right. And, and, you know, when I was a kid, man, I, different costumes, being all enthusiastic about it, face paint and whatever the case may be. I want to share all those same memories. And, and honestly, I mean, my kids can't eat all that candy. So, you know. Papa's gonna have to help. Sweater or jacket? Ooh. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one because for me personally, I wear both. You have to choose one. We've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jacket. Jacket. Jacket, sure. eh? Yeah, jacket. Damn. Yo, yeah, jacket. Disrespect to the comfiness of sweaters. Anyways, that's just my opinion. There's some comfy jackets out there, okay? And my jackets have quite a few pockets. I like to carry a lot of stuff, so jackets work for me. All right. That's just I, the way it I is. can't be mad at that. All okay. right. Okay. okay. Your turn. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Chocolates or candy? <laughs> like, I knew this. I knew this question was coming. I, I had a hunch, I knew it, yet I could still not prepare mentally for the mm -hmm. ordeal that I'm about to face. Mm -hmm. It's quite the dilemma. Chocolates, creamy, smooth, delicious, very well mixed with many things. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side, you have candy. Candy is also sweet, mm -hmm. but then candy can have all these different textures, you know, rubbery, soft, silky, could have like so many intricacies and flavors and types of flavors and different kinds of flavors you got your coca-cola mm. little candies you got your sour keys you got your gum mm. bears you got like your sour patch kids you got mm. swedish berries i'm making adrian like fucking mm. salivate over here mm. um i think ultimately for that reason i'm gonna have to go with candy really oh hell yeah bro that's your final answer so much more selection okay hell yeah okay all right yeah. okay yeah all yeah. right what do you yeah. got for me oh damn <laughs> Halloween or Thanksgiving? Oh, I would have to say, I'd have to say Thanksgiving in my personal experience. And, um, really? yeah, because as great as Halloween is, it's not as, um, I feel like it's not as celebrated by the family as largely as, as Thanksgiving. Yeah, for sure. And as I've grown up, that family aspect of life has become much more important to me. And so, therefore, I feel that Thanksgiving, I value a little bit more right now than Halloween. Okay. Can't be mad at that. 
liking like the family more the family side of things like thanksgiving yeah. definitely does have more of that like family vibe yeah type thing and halloween is a little bit more like fucking scare the show your little siblings type hide around the corner <laughs> like steal kids candies type thing yeah and you know mm. that's great for like um you know your your family within your house your household but i feel like thanksgiving is where households come together oh yeah and and that togetherness i feel is something special so yeah for sure. I go Thanksgiving. I, I, okay, okay. Okay. That's a good one. Now, my next question kind of relates to your first one. Oh, damn. In a similar way. Okay. Oh, damn. But when it comes to that fall clothing, hoodies or crew necks? Both sweaters. <sighs> but do you want that little extra? Yo, no? he's, he's, yeah, he's a dick because he knows I have both. But for sure, because of the extra... Uh, one. You can only choose one. One. We've been over this. Yeah, I didn't think I'd struggle this hard over such a stupid fucking dilemma. You know what I mean? Like any anybody with the right common sense would just say, yo, just go for a hoodie. It's got the extra material. You know, you can you can you know warm up your head at the same time. What I'm trying to say is like screw that noise. Bro, crew necks you can wear under things. So I know I got to choose between the crew neck and the hoodie, but it doesn't mean that I got to choose between the crew neck and everything right. else that I can put with the crew neck. Right. Okay. I'm going crew neck. Oh, damn. Okay. Yo. Oh, damn. Didn't see that coming. No, see, I'm very strongly a hoodie guy. Like yeah. when I put my hood on. I'm... While you're wearing a crew neck. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> it's true because you know what? It fits under my my, no, my yeah. riding jacket. But my... we both, we both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But my riding jacket is a hoodie. But whatever bro technicalities <laughs> they don't see that they don't see it it doesn't count see that's why when he asked me hoodies or jackets i had to say both because it's both man it's deeper than that nah, nah it's crew necks bro for sure okay all right, all right okay i'll go next yeah <laughs> bats or crows crows like so quick crows why i don't know i just think they're more badass and I love like. But wouldn't a bat be more badass? <laughs> it's such a bad dad joke. <laughs> this guy. Oh man. This guy. Oh yeah, fuck. Badass. Okay, I see what you did. There. I'll never make that joke ever again. I promise. But I can't promise I won't make other bad dad jokes. Bad dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay All okay right. so crow is much more badass in your opinion in my opinion right yeah there's right. Uh, i don't know i don't know so what is it about a crow that makes it so much more badass i don't know it's got talents what does it what does it have a talent? it's got a beak you know what's really fucked up Which, about crows apparently is they don't forget for a lifetime there you go that's the reason they do not forget anything man so yo, my 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 advice to everybody out there do not fuck with a crow that little bird will remember who the hell you are, where he met you, what you did to him. He'll come back and he'll peck you to death. Okay, let me just ask you a question, right? Yeah. You're walking down the street. There's the odd street lamp, right? It's just very dimly illuminating the road. And you see like a power wire connected across the street. Mm -hmm. And across the street, uh, on this wire, you see perched three bats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you keep walking or no? Is the three symbolic for something? Okay. It's seven bats. <laughs> no, because it's not symbolic. There's 11 bats. I'm not going to lie. I'll hesitate. Okay. Now, if there's 11 crows. Bro, I ain't walking towards a flock of 11 crows. Okay, they're more badass. He was right. Damn. That was a good one. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Hit me okay. Up with the next, one. next one. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. If you were stuck, if you were placed in this movie and stuck in this movie, okay. Which movie am I placed in? I'm going to give you two options. Okay. All right. You have to decide which one you feel you'd thrive better in. I like options. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first one is Cabin in the Woods. Okay. Okay. You, you know Cabin in the Woods? I've seen it. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then the second one would be Insidious. I've seen that too. That's the one where the the guy goes to sleep and shit, and like the freaking demon is like, yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's, it's like it's something along that line, like the like the like the really scary 
fucking red circle that's, demon face that's guy. That's the one where the kid can go to sl- he goes to sleep or he was asleep in his bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes into he like does the he like soul walks. Maybe that's not right, the right, right, right. He words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he but astral he was, projects exactly. Right, right. And and he's in uh, and he's in like I, I, sorry for my my horrible wording but he's, he's in the ghost realm there's a lot of spirits around him and then mm-hmm. his dad has to go in and find him okay but the thing is is that when they're astro projecting they're leaving their bodies vulnerable to be possessed by these other spirits and right like right because they're in inhab- no no i remember right. it okay so okay but cabin in the woods is like monsters but however it's government right they keep them. attacking like the cabin and yeah shit. so do that you feel was you do better actually. against monsters and, and things like that or do you feel like you do better in a world of spirits Right. Let's set the record straight. I wouldn't do good against either of those things. <laughs> I'd probably be that first character you see in the horror movie getting killed off right at first, okay? Okay. I would be like the uh, black man equivalent, but I'd be the Arab man equivalent in the in the movie just getting killed off right in the he front, took okay? It there. Okay? He took nah, it there. Okay. Hey, let's just call it as we know it, okay? Yeah, he's right. Hollywood, take a cold hard fucking look at yourselves. Um, <laughs> okay. I think, so which one? I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'd have to go with Cabin in the Woods. Okay. I think you know what? Listen, none of these scenarios work well, but the idea of something spiritually possessing my fucking body and shit. No, mm-mm. no boy, no, mm-mm. no boy, no, mm-mm. no. Mm-mm. No, no, I'd rather just me. get eaten no. up by some fucking monster while I'm alive. I'd rather that. Yeah. There's no way. That shit scares the shit I out of me. I just feel like against a monster, I have some sort of chance. And I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like physically, yeah. I can yeah. come out on top yeah. in some way, shape, or form. A spirit? No. There's no fuck. You can't see it. You can't see it. I don't play with that stuff. Comes no. around the corner. He shanks. You can't see him. I don't play with that stuff. You no. can't see it. No. 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 Okay. My last one. Is it? This is a corny ass one. Do, is it your last one? This is my last one. How many did you write? I did five. I did five too. Dog, what? That was my third one. Oh, I didn't ask you one of them. Ah. Uh, I'll come back around to it. Don't uh, worry. I got two more. Okay, hit me. Okay, indoor activities or outdoor activities? Hell yeah. Um, fuck. Well, it depends. Like, I already know his answer before he's going to say it. Because I love outdoor activities, but there's some indoor activities that I love too. You know? Like, I love being outdoor. I love riding my bike. I love, um, you know, just being out in the outdoors, experiencing the outdoors. But then at the same time, I like to be home, chilling, playing my video games, you know? So which one? You can never have the other one ever again. Oh, if I had to pick, I'd have to go. That's a tough question. Mm -hmm. I'd have to go outdoor. I feel like there's more that you could do outdoor than you can do indoor. For sure. And I feel like today as technology has advanced, we've really lost ourselves to the indoors. And um, honestly, even with COVID. Fresh air, what is that? Yeah, and even with COVID having happened recently, uh, there's a lot of people who are striving to work from home and transitioning into that. And there's a lot of people no longer leaving the home. And uh, yeah, so I think being outdoors, experiencing the outdoors, some fresh air, some sunlight for your skin. A nice hike. It's all good for you. Some pumpkin patch picking, some apple picking. Go out in the hike. Go out in the morning for a you hike, know, and then come home. Things in the night, that play we all strive games. to do on an everyday basis. Yeah, something like that. Outdoor activities. Yeah. <laughs> all right, hit me with yours. Okay, ready? So, you know when you got that chill to your bones? Oh yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like and the wind just like grabs your bones yeah. and says, just shut and the you fuck up. You a little up. hungry? You know you got this this cavity in your tummy that you just mm. Mm, something's some could just. And you know, when you consume something warm, it's going to fill your belly. It's going to give you that warm feeling throughout your whole body. Okay, let me ask you. Is it soup or is it chili? Bro, chili hands down. Chili hands down. So over a chicken noodle soup, over a tomato soup, over... Because, I mean, a good chili, I mean, if you're No, I still have to go with chili, bro, because it's just so much more filling. Chili, little bread It's got things in it. It has sustenance to it, bro. It's got the meats. It's got the beans. It's got the magic recipe for making you fart, bro. 
<laughs> that tells you you're eating. That's a good point. Soup makes you go take a piss. Yeah, okay. Chili does the opposite. And I don't want to say it because I'm trying to be appropriate on the channel. Okay. I'm, so I'm not going to say what the other side of pissing is. Because that was... But I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so Chili does that for you, okay? Okay. Sweet right. relief. Okay, we got to dance Chili. I mean, I appreciate a good Chili. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, chili. All right. All right. This is my last one yep. officially. So, um, trick or treat, mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Chucka. Such a I would have to question. say a trick or treat. Yeah. Oh, I'm going for treats. Treats. Like, I want to even understand, by treats. the standards of my own question, what the fuck did I mean by trick? I don't know. I don't know. Like, okay, so if I had to add some depth to that question, mm -hmm. I would imagine it as... He's dissecting it now. Tricks or treats. So for me, <laughs> in my opinion, I don't want to be tricked. Yeah. And because I don't want to be tricked, I choose not to trick other people, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just eliminate tricking from, from the scenario here, mm. okay? And then treats. Like, we could think of many things that are some pleasurable <laughs> treats, if you know what I'm saying, right? So Keep it in your pants. Hey! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Treats, yeah. Treats, baby. Treat me yeah. up, all right? Yeah. Don't mm. trick me. Treat me, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, all right. Don't all trick right. me. Treat me. I like that dissecting of it. It was really good. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. Hit me with the last one. Last one. Okay. This is another if you were stuck. Oh, damn it. All I right. hate being stuck, please. It's a little bit simpler in a way, but I mean, it could drive you to insanity before long. Okay. okay. So would you rather be stuck in an endless corn maze or would you rather be stuck in an endless mirror house? <clears throat> Some of my worst nightmares are coming up. <laughs> One, uh, you just see the same thing everywhere you turn. The other, the other one, one, you, you see also the see the same thing, thing but it's yourself. You so depending on how you look at yourself, <laughs> it might be worse than the corn maze. <laughs> I love how you're just, you were leading up to that logic. It's like, hey, listen, in one, you're just going to see everything. And I'm sure he was talking about the mirrors. And then they always like realizing, wait a minute, corn looks pretty fucking similar to you. Yeah, yeah. Yo, dude, both of them are fucking nightmares. Both of them are nightmares because there was that horror movie that came out just a couple of years ago okay. about the corn maze yep. or the corn field next to this house. Mm -hmm. That was a trippy ass horror movie. Yep. And it like I know cornfields before didn't really creep me out. Until I saw that movie, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then yeah. the House of Mirrors is also really creepy because you got to look at yourself a little too much. What happens if you're looking in all these mirrors and you've been in there for so long, you start seeing things that are beyond yourself? It's not. How about we don't even contemplate that effect? No, I'm good now. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know what? Just because there's some good old fresh air outside, I'm gonna go with the corn maze. Corn maze. Ah, uh, it's creepy though, man. Yo, when nighttime comes, you're out there, the yeah. crickets, and it's yeah. dark, and yeah. you can't see shit. Dude, okay, I want to stop talking about this because it's creeping the fuck out of me. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the fall time. Falling back into it. Go get your rakes out. See what I did there? Falling back into it. Dad joke number two. <laughs> I feel like we need to have a dad joke segment. We have to have like a jar of every time a dad joke is said. Oh, we're not even dads, but we're gonna. That jar is gonna be full. Let me tell you, in a couple of episodes. Hey, maybe I'll be starting that as the fun for my child when it does come to earth. We can put it in a high yield, low bond savings account <laughs> of the with the, the statistics going in okay. this direction. Yeah, uh -huh. this uh, interest rate accumulative yeah. there of not uh, the people's and the monies accumulated for the. Mm -hmm. This is my life coach. You know how I got that job. You know what I studied to do that job? Nothing. Like all life coaches. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Yo, it's so sad. It's so horrible. Oh, my God. Dude, what do you do? Oh, he's uh, <laughs> you're, you're more schooling, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Does somebody help me? <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. I think somebody should. That was 16 it. times out of panic. Ay, ay, ay. No, but. Do you want to go back to the closet? Excuse me? <laughs> Do you want to put you back in the closet? <laughs> what? 
uh, some serial killer type shit. Yeah, you've yeah. been watching that Jeffrey Dahmer, haven't Yo, you? Yo, on, on that sidebar, on that side note, and it is fall, it's spooky season. So, yeah, the, the whole Jeffrey Dahmer thing was just brought right back up. Man. Yeah, yeah. It, it was already a thing. It has been a thing, you know. Like, we're just talking, like, in the 90s. Like, mm -hmm. his trial was in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was already a huge thing, but with the release of these confession tapes... And then the Netflix oh, yeah. special. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's actually incredible because I've seen it become a topic of discussion now. Yeah. Um, and purely because of these net Netflix specials. Yeah. And uh, it's surprising to me how many people weren't aware of this prior to these Netflix specials. Yeah, but it's crazy because yeah, it was already a thing. I don't know how you couldn't have heard about that. But um, dude, the cannibal from fucking Milwaukee. It was nuts. <sighs> Yeah, dude, but that actor who's playing Jeffrey Dahmer in the Netflix special is getting a lot of love right now. Bro. Absolutely. This guy's an amazing actor, bro. Yeah. People look at the clips of Jeffrey Dahmer, like the real guy himself, yeah. and this actor nailed him to the T. Right, right. Like it his was mannerisms, every, his characteristics, everything. Down like to that. the his accent, the yeah. tone of his voice, mm -hmm. his look, the way he's looking at people. Like how the hell do you nail the way somebody's using their eyeballs? He must have been practicing that for a long, long time. He's, but the entire production is yeah, done extremely really well. Really good. The entire production. Yeah. I feel like everything that they've done, the cinematography, uh, it's just it's it's mind blowing the way that they've been able to to recreate this moment of time for our entertainment, which kind of seems funny to say for our entertainment. It's messed that's, up. That's purely what it is. It's messed up, man. Like we get, we get off on that shit. Like, like watching these, all these murder mysteries and things like that. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy how we, we flock to that. I know for myself, yeah. man, when I see like a murder mystery special, even a docu-series or something coming out, like I'm on that right away. Yeah. And maybe, maybe you're like me and maybe there's a lot of us out there that think like this. Um, I think it's an opportunity to get a glimpse into these people's minds and see how they think, why they think the way they think, if we can get any of those kinds of answers. Um, and I think it's just, you can prove to yourself, oh, maybe I'm not like that because I don't see things like that or whatever the case may be. But yeah, um, that Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's, I don't know how you can. He's honestly, he's he just. I don't know, man. He like this guy, just baffled the minds of people once they found out that like he was some serial killer cannibal, yeah. bro. It was nuts, but yeah, I mean, it leads me to 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 question uh, how many Halloween costumes you think we're gonna see with uh, Jeffrey Dahmer as the oh, costume? Oh, that's a great point. Why how many of those pairs bro? of glasses Yo, are we gonna see? One hundred percent, we're gonna be seeing a ton of that this Halloween. A ton of that. Um, that would be a great costume. That would be a great costume, and I just want some recognition, just a, li just a little bit. You heard it here if first. If you got it from here, Social Misfits Podcast. Just go, please, go to our TikTok, go to our Instagram, give us a follow if you want to see some more, mm -hmm. but then drop us some comments, man. Let yeah. us know what you guys think. Yeah. What are your Halloween costumes? Let us know what you're going out as. Are you going to go as a serial killer dressed as a cereal box? <laughs> or are you going to throw on the bed sheet and just cut the holes out? That was sarcastic. But yeah, let us know though. Did you get it? Did you just I did. You finally I, just get it. I got it? it a little late. Like though. a cereal box holding like a, a hatchet or a knife or something. And then you go as a okay, I'm not gonna repeat that. Yeah, you know, and I had fruit loops on the mind, so I was thinking of like a serial killer toucan Sam. <laughs> my mind like went a, a whole different murderer direction. Fucking parrot, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Guess what I am? A serial killer. Hey, that'd be another good edition. Costume. Yeah, it's crazy. But let us know what you guys are going as. Yeah. And um, yeah, well, I mean, I think this wraps up this episode. Absolutely. We hope you all enjoy your time, your Thanksgiving weekend. For real, man. Halloween for real. to come. Yes, we'll be doing another one for sure. And then we'll probably immerse ourselves more into the whole Halloween aspect. Hey, maybe for a, a Halloween episode, we'll do our podcast wearing costumes. Yo, dude, I'm down. Ooh, what should yeah, we let us dress know. as? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know Just what let we us should know. dress as. Just go over Halloween to our social media episode. platforms. You let us know. Send us messages, whatever you want, man. We're always looking at that stuff. Someone's going to make me wear some short shorts. I just know. Bro, they have to. As long as they make him wear a tutu, I'm fine with ah, that. Ah, shit. That's fine. Yo, I'll do it if you guys, if you tell me I have to, but don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy. Thanks. Oh,